In this video, I'll quickly answer some of the frequently asked questions that people seem to have when I start talking about no code. So let's start at the basics. So what is no code? No code is any way of building websites or apps or automations without writing a line of code. It doesn't matter who you are, you might be a coder or you might be someone who's completely non-technical, but if you have a problem and you want to solve it without writing a line of code, using no-code platforms such as Zapier, Webflow, and a host of other solutions, then you are building a no-code tool or a no-code solution. Another question I get is, why is no-code such a big deal? No-code is such a big deal because it is affordable accelerated and accessible. Affordable because you don't have to hire a huge team of developers or hire a CTO to get your company's first MVP out there. You can build it yourself using affordable tools that ask you to pay a monthly fee. Accelerated because it is insane just how quickly you can ship a prototype using some of these no-code platforms. Some of the best no-coders in the world just take hours to launch their first MVP and they continue to iterate. And most importantly, no code is incredibly accessible because before what you needed to do in traditional development was spend a lot of time learning to code, learning how the syntax works before you could actually start to build something that works. Here what happens in no code development is that the focus is taken away from the language and onto the idea so that you can quickly start building and launch something that works even without worrying about learning the programming language. What this means is that no code empowers millions of non-technical people who would have otherwise had to rely on a developer to actually build their ideas, who can now finally work on their ideas and making them reality without needing a huge team of developers. We're also seeing product managers and other roles in companies take advantage of no code to quickly experiment with new features and if they are successful, they will then hand it over to their in-house developer team. So you can see that in so many ways, no code empowers people who were previously unable to build or work on their ideas and they would have just stayed as ideas, but now they can finally breathe life into them. What are some examples of no-code projects? Well, there are thousands of no-code projects out there. Just to give you some examples from my own portfolio, there was this COVID app that I built in 2021 April that helped thousands of users in India during our second COVID wave. I built the first version of the app in just two hours. One of the reasons why the app was so successful was mainly because it was out there when people needed it the most and also we were able to continuously monitor the situation and improve the app as the users required it so that was one of the reasons why it was successful mainly because it was a no code app and it was built using no code tools a couple of other examples include a legal tech app that i built called nyaya nyaya is sanskrit for justice it is a contract automator tool that i built during a hackathon in just a weekend just to show myself the power of no code tools and to see just what one lawyer could do over a weekend to disrupt the industry. There's another project that I built called High IQ Content, which was basically a Twitter thread that was compiled by Balaji Srinivasan. If you know who he is, you might be familiar with some of his viral Twitter threads. So I converted one of his viral Twitter threads into an app in just an hour. And because it was launched so quickly while the thread was viral, uh, we reached thousands of users in just 24 hours. I'll put the links to all the projects in the description below. What are some good no-code platforms? There are hundreds of no-code builders out there today. So for front-end development, let's say you're trying to create a website or a landing page. Card is a really great affordable option and Typedream and Webflow are two other options for you. If you're looking at building automations without writing code, you have Zapier, which is one of the OG no-code tools. And you also have Make, which was formerly known as Integromat. If you're playing around with databases, Airtable is the most powerful database solution out there. And if you're looking for an all-in-one tool, a project management tool, note-taker tool, along with automations, website building, and all of that, 
Notion is a really great place to start. So how can you start learning no code? Start with Notion and Card because they are some of the most basic tools there are. Chances are that you've already explored Notion as a note-taking tool. You can also go ahead and play around with Notion databases and also play with the Notion API when you're comfortable by linking Notion to another easy app such as Google Sheets using Zapier. Card is an incredibly affordable alternative to website builders and while there is no learning curve, you can play around with injecting code and snippets of CSS to make your card site very powerful. After that, you can progress to so many other tools such as software and Glide and so on. If you're looking for structured learning resources, I have free workshops of sessions that I live stream right here on my YouTube channel, do check them out. Or if you are looking for a structured course, I also have a link to a free course in the links below. Okay, so these were just some of the questions that I get frequently asked. I hope that some of the answers were useful to you. And if you're just beginning your NoCo journey, make sure that you're following me on YouTube and on Twitter. Remember that to become a great no coder, your journey starts on day one and that starts now. I'd love to help you as you progress on your no code learning journey. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more content.